guys, Kyle, the Death Knight of Anime here, bringing you my review for Eden Zero, Chapter 113. And so, yeah, I'm, so yeah, as you can see, I'm delivering this review, like, a, a little bit early to you, because, a little bit early, because, because apparently, apparently the chapter was released yesterday. And before I get into the review, uh, can anyone kind of explain to me, like, what happened as what happened here is or is the why it's being released early like is it just is it just that that that, that from Jamashima had had finished his his had finished the chapter early so they decided to release it early like i'm yeah i'm just i'm i'm not saying i'm i'm, I'm against i'm against the schedule i'm against i'm against a a, a difference in the scheduling or in, in the scheduled release or anything but it's like yeah, the, the the Prince chapter it definitely got released at like like a little early than, than what I'm normally used to, so um, but yeah, so if anyone can kind of fill me in on that one, that'd be great. Um, <clears throat> um, but with that said, so okay, so let's get into the chapter. And okay, so obviously the first major thing to talk about in this chapter is that when our heroes more or less arrive on the planet, r arrive on Forista and arrive on Forrester, they're pretty much greeted to a rather horrific sight of humans being enslaved by robots and treated like animals. Animals, which we'll get into the reason why in a bit, but just touching on the base concept alone, I kind of, I, I kind of like that for as morbid as it is, Mashima with this chapter is tapping into what is essentially our worst fears as humans being controlled and enslaved by machines like like it, it doesn't matter wh whether or not we say it out loud i think as human beings be being from being from enslaved by, by primitive machines is something that that, that that we have like this natural human human fear that we we have this natural fear of like it's it's something that's almost ingrained in our being that that the one thing that we fear is is with ever growing technology that 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 one day the machines will rise and take over like i, I think that is kind of p part of our net and our brains i think i think that kind of is something that we all fear and he taps into that j just in that one panel of seeing the humans being treated like animals like be treated like dogs and cats and whatnot that that's that's a very horrific thing to see um and i'm and honestly i <clears throat> i'm love I'm, I'm i might sound sadistic for saying this but i'm really loving how mashima's ta like we've we, 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 we've tapped into a lot of we've tapped into a lot of dark subject matter with Eden zero up to this point and I'm really kind of loving how Mashima's tapping into these dark subjects, e even if, even if he has to, even if he has to in some way or another tone them down in order to fit in order to fit like the shonen demographic. He's 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 not relenting on giving us th these dark subjects. Like like someone I think even said it himself. We've tackled slavery. We've talked. We've tackled. We've tackled human trafficking and prostitution, and now we're tra and now we're and now we're um. And, and now we're tackling tackling slavery again, but 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 on on the human, on on the human on the human on the human on the animal degradation level, like these these humans are being degraded to the point of being treated like like animals. So, yeah, and it's I'm not gonna lie, which and what really sells this for me even more is that is that in from and what really sells me on this is that well i'm not gonna all right say what 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 the machines are doing is just and well i'm not gonna say it's anything of what's going on is justified seeing the humans being treated as pets does serve as a very interesting parallel in the sense where to in the sense where or, or from to this point in the story story we have seen robots and androids used and abused by humans so to see it happen in reverse is kind of one of those things where there is a level of karma in this case that's be that's that's coming back to bite humans in the ass. Like I'm I'm not gonna lie. Like again, it's not justified, but you can't deny that, that there's a level of karma here that's that that, that, that is kind of deserved slightly deserved at least on the level of of teaching humans a lesson. <laughs> 
Like, don't, 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 don't use and abuse machines, trust me, it'll get you nowhere. Like, yeah. Um, <clears throat> now, with that said, let's talk about the reason why th this is all happening. Because, why this is all happening and why the robots are acting this way. Because, <clears throat> as we learn later on, it's because of a virus in their program that Ziggy is responsible for. And to me, this just kind of confirms even more going on, more, more that what's going on, more, more going on, more going on with Ziggy than what we see on, th that there's definitely more going on with Ziggy than what we see on the surface. But also that more, that it also confirms for me that at, that at least part of his actions are and motivations are being fueled by like a foreign virus or program like e everything that like i'm not going to say that, that that what's going on with ziggy that a hundred percent of it is because of, of a virus or a foreign program but i th i think we can definitely assume that, that whatever's going on with this virus is is effect that whatever's going on he is being he is being controlled in some way or another and <clears throat> Now, now whether or not this this virus, now whether or not this virus has commandeered his body, or it's just heightening Ziggy's already existing aggression towards humans, is the question that remains to be seen. And as of right now, I'm personally going in a little bit of the column A and, col and column B category, in the sense where I, th I, th I think a lot of what Ziggy's doing is probably motivated is probably is motivated by, by his own desires. But at the, is is motive is he's doing himself probably, but at the same time I think I think whatever virus or program is controlling him is heightening these is heightening the, these tendencies and, and making him even more of a even more of a dangerous threat than than he than he could could have been before I don't know, but in but in this case, but in either case, whatever goes, whatever's going on with Ziggy, I do like how seeing what Ziggy's done on this planet has pushed Ziggy's, Ziggy's resolve even further to stopping his grandfather, and kind of infor informed us even more of his ideals because he, because Ziggy in, in some ways he has experienced both sides, and knows that whether it's humans or robots, what's going on is just wrong. No one side should really have power over the other. They should all be treated as equals, which I'm not going to lie. Like, when you're saying all this out loud, that really does parallel the real world in the most interesting ways. But unlike the real world, where that feels like, or that sometimes feels like a pipe dream at times, we also have seen instances in this world where both humans and machines can 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 find can reach common ground and 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 find and basically coexist with each other. So in in already that that basically that basically that basically sets up the two sides of 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 Ziggy Ziggy wanting to control humans, but on the other hand, Shiki he's he's got his ideals that yeah that yeah humans and robots. Humans and machines, they can coexist if we try. Whereas, or, 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 is, or, or, is, or is Ziggy is trying to force co coexistence, but in the most, again, in the most morbid of way. Like we're tackling some serious, like again, we're we're diving into some serious subject matter that I kind of like. Again, kind of like that Mashima is touching on this subject matter a lot. Um, <clears throat> With that said, when reading this chapter, someone left a comment on the Eden Zero page that I definitely agree with, which is that whether Ziggy's doing all this of his own volition or not, the one thing we can also glean from Ziggy's actions for sure is that we're pretty much in, in Poseidon Nero's territory. So it's more than obvious that Ziggy is trying to get a rise out of Poseidon Nero, and obviously, he what Ziggy wants to do is, is usurp his control over the Yaoi cosmos. So just knowing that, all the pieces seem to be pointing towards a three-way confrontation between the Dark Stars, well, pretty much Shiki's group, and the Commando Team Beast, which are which are of course Poseidon Nero's forces. But just the fact that Ziggy is going to these lengths to begin with 
shows an interesting level of development in the sense where he realizes he couldn't find mother on his own or even with with with, with, with just the with just the with just the four shining stars with the four star shines or whatnot so what he's now doing in the present is he's chosen to usurp as much power as possible and amass a large scale armada using this using 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 such a powerful fleet using his fleet and anything he can gain from usurping Nero's power so and and also and also adding that the fact that he's doing this at all kind of confirms for me that the route which directly leads to mother after gathering all after gathering the relics is in fact the most perilous part of the journey but also that Ziggy if Ziggy is looking to amass like an armada and just amass as much power as he can before going after mother then that confirms t that also confirms to me that the first time he went to find that confirms to me that he's planning to do something more than just ask mother for a wish like i think I think he's actively going to probably like destroy mother or like again 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 well over over much going off the off the idea that he's being infected with a virus whatever's infecting whatever's infecting um whatever is infecting Ziggy is probably planning to infect mother as well and by definition probably try and affect the whole the whole galaxy at that point that's what I'm thinking right now um so the chapter also reunites us with with French couch po and honestly this is one of the more head scratching things about the chapter cuz while I'm sure Mashima has a good reason for reintroducing her into the story it it's also kind of one of those things where I do tilt my head to the side and just wonder why her like again I'm sure Mashima does have reasons for this but she's also kind of a mystery box character in this scenario just in just wondering how she'll contribute to the story aside from giving us exposition the only thing that does come to mind right now just based off her first reappearance is that she's going to serve as a guide through through Primus foresta seeing as how she does seem so it's just how basing off her first appearance and and, and getting our heroes to safety does so that, that she seems to know her way around the planet so there's that um but yeah guys, that's pretty much all I got for this review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Alistair Crunch Roll. Dead Night of Anime, signing off. Later guys.